Building a stock portfolio that can provide consistent dividends that grow is what every dividend growth investor wants. And deciding where to invest for regular returns with so many companies to choose from can be confusing. Normally, companies use three standard schedules to pay dividends quarterly. January, April, July, and October. February, May, August, and November. As well as March, June, September, and December. In this video, I'll be covering stocks that pay dividends in January, April, July, and October. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Dividend Aristocrats and the Dividend Kings. So all the companies on this list will belong to at least one of the two lists. Now, if you're wondering about companies that pay in February, May, August, and November, check out this video. Okay, so since you're looking for information on dividend stocks, I wanted to introduce you to Sure Dividend. Sure Dividend helps investors like you and I find high quality income securities for their retirement and financial freedom portfolios, and I use them to research the stocks that I make for this channel. And the Sure Dividend newsletter analyzes their top 10 high quality dividend growth stocks each and every month. It's an excellent product, so I invite you to check it out. Take a look in the link in the description below. And stay tuned because I'll be giving you a promo code for a $41 discount off their newsletter. Alright, so many investors seeking monthly dividend payments turn to stocks that have a long history of paying dividends. But since companies usually pay quarterly, that means some months you get might get more dividend income than others. Now, one way that investors can get around this is to own stocks that pay in different months. So, it's not to say that one stock is better than the other, but if you have the choice between two companies and all things being equal, well, the dividend payout schedule might be something that you would want to consider. So here we go. This is a list of the companies that pay dividends in January, April, July, and October. And I'll cover a little bit about what each one does. Oh, and by the way, Investors should never make an investment based solely on the timing of a payout. Just because a stock is paying out dividends in the month that you want does not mean necessarily that it's a wise investment. And by the same token, avoiding a stock just because it dip pays a dividend in a particular month or two, well, it can be a mistake. Instead, it's best to concentrate on digging into the fundamentals to understand its business model, the industry, and risk factors. So let's get started. Okay, so first up is ADP or Automatic Data Processing Incorporated. This is a global cloud-based human capital management solutions provider. The company operates in two particular segments, employer services and professional employer organization. ADP services businesses of all sizes in a variety of industries worldwide. And over the years, I've even used ADP services both myself as an employee as well as an employer. And their service has always worked really well for me. ADP was formed in 1949 and is headquartered in Roseland, New Jersey. And typically, they increase their dividend in April. ADP is also a member of the S&P 500, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol ADP. The nice thing about ADP is that its business model is based on subscriptions, so it means it's sticky. Companies use ADP on a monthly basis for their services. As a result, ADP's revenues are usually quite consistent. And when it comes to dividends, ADP and the rest of the companies on this video usually pays a dividend um, in January, April, July, and October. And in the case of ADP, they usually pay on the first of the month. Next up, we have Albemarle Corporation, founded in 1994, and they have headquarters in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, this company produces, manufactures, and distributes engineered chemicals all over the world. And the company operates in 
three segments, lithium, bromine specialties, and catalysts. One thing that dividend growth investors will like is that Albemarle typically increases its dividend in April, and the company is a publicly traded company listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ALB. Now, this company usually pays a dividend on the 1st of the month, so 1st of April, July, October, and January. Next, we have Franklin Resources Incorporated, and it's a company that most people know as Franklin Templeton Investments. Franklin Resources was formed in 1947, and today they're based in San Mateo, California. And it's a publicly traded asset management holding company that provides services to individuals, institutions, pension funds, trusts, and partnerships. Franklin Resources is committed to helping clients reach their financial goals, and its team of experienced professionals strives to provide innovative solutions that meet each investor's unique needs. And the company has a record of increasing its dividends in January and usually pays dividends around the 15th of the month each July, October, January, and April. Next up, we have Brown Foreman Corporation, a company that was formed way back in 1870, and today they're headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky. Together with its subsidiaries, it manufactures, distills, bottles, imports, exports, markets, and sells various alcoholic beverages. The company's products include Jack Daniels, Old Forester, Corbell, and so many others. Brown Foreman has a history of increasing its dividend in January, and over the last 10 years, the dividend has grown on average 7.5% a year. I guess business is good for this company, as they're one of the largest distillers in the world. I mean, it's not much of a surprise, right? I mean, recessions, inflation, whatever. When times are tough, people still buy alcoholic beverages. And that makes this company an interesting choice. Next up, we have Cardinal Health, a leading healthcare service and products company that serves hospitals, ambulatory surgery centers, um, healthcare systems, physician offices, uh, you know, patients in the home, pharmacies, and uh, clinical labs. They were founded in 1971, and today they're headquartered in Dublin, Ohio. Today, Cardinal Health has approximately 48,000 employees worldwide and serves over 100,000 locations. The company is a new member of the Dividend Aristocrats list, and there are companies that have increased their dividends for at least the last 25 years and are listed on the S&P 500 exchange. And July is when this company usually increases its dividend, and just as they did this year. Next up, we have Chubb Limited. This is a company that was founded in 1985, which is a significant player in the insurance and reinsurance industry that provides products and services to millions of customers worldwide. The company has its head office in Zurich, Switzerland, and is a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. Chubb typically pays its dividend in October, as well as January, April, and July. And given the company's strong financial position and global reach, Chubb should be well positioned to continue paying out increasing dividends to shareholders in the years to come. Next up, we have Cincinnati Financial Corporation, an insurance provider that was founded in 1950, and today they're headquartered in Fairfield, Ohio. Cincinnati Financial Corporation has a long history of dividend increases. Actually, they've increased their dividend for each of the last 61 years, typically in April. Imagine for a second getting a raise for 61 years in a row. If you think that's cool, give me a like on this video. Next up, we have Ecolab, a company that provides water, hygiene, infection protection, prevention services, and services globally. The company was founded in 1923 and is headquartered in St. Paul, Minnesota. Ecolab's products and services have been used in various industries, so that includes food and beverage processing, healthcare, hospitality, and so on. 
Also, the company has a strong commitment to sustainability and is a global leader in water resource management. Ecolab also typically increases its dividend in January, and they're also listed on the S&P 500. Next up, we have SX Property Trust, a real estate investment trust that in acquires, develops, redevelops, and manages multifamily residential properties in selected West Coast markets. The company was founded in 1971, and they're headquartered in San Mateo, California. And today, they're the 10th largest owner of housing in the United States and the 20th largest apartment property manager in the United States. The company typically increases its dividend in April, as it's done for each of the past 28 years. Next up, we have Federal Realty Investment Trust, a real estate investment trust that owns, operates, and redevelops high-quality retail-based properties in major coastal markets. The company is headquartered in North Bethesda, Maryland, and was established in 1962. And as of December 31st, 2021, Federal Realty's portfolio includes about 104 properties totaling 25.1 million square feet. Federal Realty Investment Trust has an impressive dividend of 4.3%, and they typically increase their dividend in October. Next up, we have Genuine Parts Company, and this company is in the distribution of automotive replacement parts and industrial parts and materials business. It was founded way back in 1928, and today they're headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. These days, Genuine Parts Company operates in three segments, automotive, industrial, and electronics. The automotive segment provides replacement parts for passenger cars, light trucks including engine filters, brake pads and shoes, mufflers and ignition parts, and engine cooling parts. Also, the industrial segment provides replacement parts for heavy-duty trucks, construction and farm equipment, retail railway cars, marine vessels, factory automation equipment, and turbochargers. And if that's not enough, its electronic segment provides batteries, wires, cables, connectors, and all of those related products. The company has increased their dividend for each of the past 44 years and typically increases it in April. Next up, we have Illinois Toolworks. Founded in 1912, Illinois Toolworks is a leading manufacturer of industrial products and equipment. Headquartered in Glenview, Illinois, the company operates worldwide, serving customers in various industries. In addition to its strong financial performance, ITW is also known for its innovative products and technologies. Its brand are held in the highest regard by consumers. And with a long history of success, Illinois Toolworks is a company that investors can count on for growth and income. ITW's management is committed to delivering shareholder value and typically increases its dividend in October. Next, we have Kimberly Clark, a consumer stables company that manufactures and markets personal care and tissue, tissue products. The company was founded all the way back in 1872, and today they're headquartered in Dallas, Texas. And they have a diversified product portfolio that includes brands such as Kleenex, Huggies, and Skull. The company has a solid market position and consistently has a high cash flow. And Kimberly Clark is often placed among the Fortune 500 firms. Kimberly Clark also has a track record of increasing its dividend in April and typically pays its dividends around the beginning of the month in January, April, July, and October. Next up, we have Leggett and Platt. Founded in 1883, Leggett and Platt is a diversified manufacturer of engineered products serving four primary markets: furniture, auto motorcycling, construction and building materials, and industrial. The company is based in Carthage, Missouri, and its common stock trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the tick ticker symbol of LEG. 
Now, Leggett and Platt is interesting as they're not an S&P 500 company as they were kicked out of the list in December 2021. So they're no longer a dividend aristocrat. But still, I believe that the this company belongs on the list because they've increased their dividend for each of the past 50 years, and that qualifies them for a position on the elite dividend kings list. And their dividend is also a solid 4.8% as of this recording. And if you're wondering, Leggett and Platt typically increases its dividend in July, and their dividends usually pay out around the middle of the month. Next up, we have Medtronic, a world leader in medical technology, offering an extensive range of innovative products and services that improve patients' lives and provide valuable tools for clinicians. The company was founded back in 1949 and is headquartered in Dublin, Ireland, and they employ over 100,000 people worldwide, and they have a strong presence in more than 140 countries. The company's product portfolio has coverage in cardiovascular, diabetes, brain and spine, ear, nose and throat, and so on. As a re result of its robust product offerings, global reach, and commitment to shareholder value, Medtronic is well positioned to keep its role as a leading medical technology company. In addition, the company also increases its dividend payout to shareholders every July. Next, we have McCormick & Company, and this, this company is a leading producer of spices, seasoning mixes, condiments, and other flavorful products. Founded way back in 1889, the company today is headquartered in Hunt Valley, Maryland, and they serve the food industry through a network of manufacturing, marketing, and distribution facilities. The company's goods are available in a variety of well-known brands such as McCormick, Clubhouse, Old Bay, and Laurie's. In addition to its substantial presence in North America, McCormick has a growing international business as it markets its products in over 170 countries. And McCormick typically increases its dividends in January. So, beginning of the year, a higher dividend. Next up, we have Roper Technologies, a company that's a diversified industrial technology company that designs and develops software and engineered products and solutions for many global markets. The four main business lines of the company include industrial technology, radio frequency technology, scientific and industrial imaging, as well as energy systems and controls. The company was founded in 1981, and today they're headquartered in Sarasota, Florida. In terms of dividends, Roper Technologies has increased their dividends for each of the past 29 years, and they typically increase their dividend also in January. And last but not least, we have Cisco. And this is among the leadest food distributors in the United States. It was founded back in 1969, and today they're headquartered in Houston, Texas. The company serves the food service or food away from home industry through its subsidiaries. The company offers a wide variety of food-related products, and it makes it a one-stop shop for many businesses in the food industry. In addition to distribution, Cisco also provides several other services, such as management consulting and training. As a result, Cisco is a comprehensive solution for many food service businesses. And each year, Cisco typically increases its dividend in July. Well, that's what I have for you today. Don't forget, there's lots of things to take into consideration when investing in stocks. Remember, first, you have to think about what kind of risk you're willing to take, how much money you can invest, and what your goals are. And one way to minimize risk is to diversify your portfolio by investing in different stocks in different sectors. Of course, it's always best to do your homework, your research, before investing in anything. Do you own any of the stocks in this list? Let me know in the comments below, because I love reading and responding. In the meantime, 
Thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.